Hello, 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 everyone. It is me, Porky2007. Welcome to the newest installment of Custom Custom, which is a series that I haven't done in a long while. But don't worry, this series is back once again in the form of this video. And this video is going to be special because this video will be talking about not one, not two, but three custom diecasts that I've made. And those three are Josh Over Steery, Chase Race Lot, and Michael McDownshift. And the reason why it's special is because, well, these three are based off of my favorite NASCAR drivers, Josh Barry. Chase Elliott and Michael McDowell. Anyway, without wasting more time, let's begin. Start off with the one that I've um, made first, and that would be Chase Race Lot. So this one is actually the earliest one that I made because um, I made it in April, and um, let's just say that I didn't have any intent to make a video for a zone because I didn't took any progress photos. But considering the fact I finished both Josh and Michael, I said that you know what, might as well include them to, um, of course, set the theme of my favorite NASCAR drivers as customs. So let's talk about how I made it. So he was made from a second tim trellis that i got from the real russian tim trellis 2 pack which i did a review of and when i got the second one i had no idea of what to make this into until i thought of an idea since because chase race law is based off of real world nascar driver chase elliott and chase elliott um, is known for his iconic napa scheme i was what i thought to myself what about i make a special scheme for chase race Lot based off of his napa scheme and then thus i had an idea for that second tim trellis so i took that tim trellis sanded it sprayed it with some primer and spray with a couple more coats of primer and then thus i paid on the blue and yellow and added a very unique logo for the vitaline logo of course having yellow and blue to match the napa logo and one more thing that had to be done is well of course the spoiler the original tim treadless spoiler wasn't going to work for chase so um i have modeled and 3d printed a spoiler that closely matched um chase race lots original spoiler and let's just say though it looks fine to me it may look a little blocky but it's fine with me and that is it for how i made them um, chase race lot and let's say though i really do love this custom because well it pops more than the original green chase race lot and overall blue is just a nice color he may not have the next gen wheels like the other two customs that i've made but it's fine that's what makes chase race lot a lot more unique and that's why i like this custom even more all right so that is it for chase race lot and now let's move on to josh over steery so i actually wanted to make a custom of josh berry um a long ago like when i started to use print the decals i wanted to be based off of his um number eight car when he raced for junior motorsports in the xfinity series but that was from 2023 now um he races for stewart haas racing in the number four car in the cup series replacing kevin harvick so i was all like you know what sure i'll just make his cup series car specifically based off of this scheme which is probably my favorite from josh berry but that's when i run into a problem what should be a sponsor and at first that might sound like the most obvious thing like but the toe cap should be a sponsor because all the toe cap racers had the number four on them so so he should race for toe ah fuck that shit why would i make up toe cap custom so yeah i wasn't gonna make a sponsor toe cap because fuck that shit so i was still stuck on what should be a sponsor until i just thought of you know what stalkers sure and i probably thought of that sponsor idea because um that scheme is sponsored by overstock so i was all like you know what stalkers it should work and our logo is the s symbol that we probably all drew in um middle school because why not and then thus, I had the sponsor and the scheme. And I decided to use the Ryan Laney tooling because, well, it just suited him a little more. And then thus, I um, removed the spoiler to make painting easier. Then I uh, masked the windows and wheels to make sure there was no paint on them. Sanded them, sprayed them with a few coats of primer, then sprayed them with the red spray paint. And of course, I kept some parts masked to, of course, um, keep the white parts, well, white to match the overstock scheme. And then thus, I cut out some decals and then boom, Josh oversteered is done and oh yeah i forgot that i um painted the next gen wheels to match the rest of the scheme so that is it for josh over steery and what do i think of this custom let's just say though i really do like this custom because of its red paint because well i really like red and it's based off of my favorite nascar driver which is josh berry and overall i just i just really like this one this one just looks very nice to me i really do love this one and now let's move on to the next custom and that would be 
Michael McDowndshift. So yeah, um, Michael McDowndshift, uh, based off of Michael McDowell, one of my favorite NASCAR drivers. And then thus, I wanted to make a custom base off of him. And then thus, um, I um, created a design and I was originally gonna use this design, but I thought it looked a little too boring. So then thus, I went with this design, which is based off of his Long John Silver scheme, which is probably my favorite scheme from Michael McDowell. And then thus, boom, I had the design and now I just need the die cast to use for him. And then thus, I decided to use the Gogo Logano tooling because, well, I just thought that tooling just fit him. And also he had the yellow rim. So yeah, I was going to use it. And then thus, I got to work by um, removing a spoiler, masking the parts where I didn't want to paint going to when I started to paint. And then thus, the next part is... <laughs> <laughs> Since because um Gogo -Go Logano is based off of Joey Logano, which is my absolute least favorite NASCAR driver, I already know I was gonna have fun saying him. So no, no, boogity no, no, boogity, no, 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 no. let's wait, 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 sand wait. this bitch. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough fun. And then thus, after I sanded the car, um, I sprayed it with a few coats of primer. And then thus, I sprayed a coat of black to, well, of course, to make the black parts pop out. And then thus, I masked the parts where I want a yellow to be at. And then thus, I sprayed the yellow, which is my first time using that yellow spray can, by the way. And then thus, I added the decals, which, by the way, for some reason, this happened. So, um, I went to my, uh, school to pick up, um, Michael McDowell's decals because, well, that's where I typically get my decals from my grandma who works at the school on Princeton for me because she has a color printer and let's just say though um, when I came into the class not the class or office um I was expecting one sheet of decal but for some reason the printer printed not one not two heck not even three but 15 Michael McDowell decals I, I, I don't know how this happened but <laughs> I guess I have 15 Michael McDowell decals, so um, yeah, I don't know what to do with a lot of them. I don't know how that happened, but hey, just in case if I make a mistake, um, I could just use the second sheet of decals, which that's what I technically did. Then thus, I applied all the decals, and then boom, Michael McDowell shift is done. And what do I think of this custom? I really do like this custom because of how intricate that these decals are. Like, like he's definitely one of the more complex ones when it comes to decals because, well, there's just so much um going on with Michael McDowell shift because, well, I had to use a sp special way to to make this custom look really nice and i think i pulled it off pretty well so that is it for michael mcdown chef and pretty much everyone else and now let's move on to the conclusion so that is it for chase race slot josh oversteery and michael mcdown chef and let's say though i absolutely love how these die guys have turned out because for one they're based off of my favorite nascar drivers and secondly um the, the schemes that i give them are based off of well the schemes that the drivers that they're based off of joven and those schemes are also my favorite so yeah i absolutely love love how these die casts turn out and but wait we're not done here because i'm also planning to make chris busher and alex bowman since because those two are also my favorites and <sighs> i guess i'll make kyle larson too to complete the hendrick quadrant uh well that's gonna be a doozy but oh well might as well complete the entire hendrick squad so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do give this video a like if you want to see more of this content um subscribe anywho well boulder